Hi teachers, Mike Smith here with School Specialty Sport Time. I'm the subject matter expert for physical education, health, and wellness, and I was actually a PE teacher for over 20 years, and one of my favorite times of the year was in the fall and the spring when the weather would warm up and I was able to get outside in Colorado with my students and do some outdoor learning. I'm gonna share with you a few fun activities that you can do outside with your students. So check it out. So this is video three of my progression of teaching striking skills to my elementary students. For this next activity, you're gonna need a poly spot, a paddle, and a ball or a birdie. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to be setting up your target about six to eight feet apart from where the students are standing. So you can see I'm standing on the poly spot and my object of the activity is for me to hit the ball or the birdie into the cage. And I call this activity birdie in the cage. And so when I teach the skill of striking or the serve, so that when we lead into badminton, I teach them how to hold it low, step with their opposite foot, and it's step, tick, talk. And I have them at swing from low to high. So again, in this activity, the students are with a partner, step, tick, talk, and swing from low to high. And the object of the activity is for them to hit it in to the birdie cage. Now, you can see I just moved the target a little farther, and I give my students the flexibility to do that if it's too close or too far. But I want them aiming high. So again, they're swinging from low to high, so the birdie, they learn how to strike the birdie um, up in the air to get it to land in the cage. And I also allow the students to kind of come up with their own scoring system. So if it makes it into the birdie in the cage, or excuse me, if the birdie makes it into the cage, then they can earn maybe two points. If it's outside, maybe they get one point. And if it's leaning against the target, then they get half a point or however they want to come up with their own scoring system. But again, I have them play this game with partners, so it's, it's fun and uh, a great challenge, and it's great skill development for them to practice striking. So now that my students have practiced how to serve with birdie in the cage, they're ready to play kind of a one-on-one -on -one game and practice hitting over a net. You can see here, I made my net with a jump rope and two cones. And if you don't have cones, obviously you can just use a jump rope on the ground. So here we are with our rope on the ground and you can see I'm, uh, I have a rope and we have two people and we're ready to play a kind of one-on-one -on -one, um, badminton with our net. Now I, I let my students spread their area out in the middle of the field outdoors on the grass and I have them have plenty of space in between each uh, of the other people around them. I don't really have boundaries on the sides or in the back so there's not really any lines for them for out of bounds. It's more of just getting in the hang of serving and then hitting the uh, birdie back and forth. So here we are, one person will start with the serve and I always try to get my students to serve from low to high. So now the ball birdie hit the ground so then it's the next person. So he serves low to high. And now they're just working on trying to have a rally back and forth. And I tell my students that it's important that they can get in the hang of having that rally and hitting it back and forth. So it's not much so much about scoring points, but it's really just kind of getting in the hang of striking back and forth with a partner. And the students absolutely love this and will do it for a really long period of time because they're really starting to kind of lead up to that gameplay. Um, now, do you see how I've served it there really low? I don't let my students do that. I make them serve it from low to high so that the other person has an opportunity to try to strike it back. And again, the goal is to have a rally back and forth. Now, after a few minutes of that, or however long you want, you can then lead into gameplay with this jump rope as your net, and the students will then um, learn how to score and um, serve. So again, um, great lead up to gameplay and leading into the nets, the actual real nets. And the last thing I'll close with is some of you might be wondering why I'm using these plastic 
paddles with my elementary students to teach the skill of striking or badminton. And what I found was when I tried to use the actual badminton rackets, it was just impossible. The students didn't have any success. And it was actually kind of by accident one day I was in my storeroom and I was messing around with some different paddles and things and objects. And I started to play with this birdie and I just couldn't believe how fun it was because it really slowed the game down a lot for the students. And it really gave them the opportunity to have a lot of success. So if you've never tried badminton or striking using these smaller plastic paddles, I would really recommend it because um, your students will, will really excel at it and it is great fun for them. So enjoy.